Hello, it's Pastor Marlene coming to the young, for the young and young at heart for November 8th. And it's a little dark in here, so I thought I'd turn on a flashlight. Does that help a little bit? Yeah, you can see me a little bit better, especially if I shine it kind of this way and you can see me a little bit better. Um, but you know what? I have it dark for a reason, because I wanted to talk about these bridesmaids in our gospel lesson. You know, they have these little lamps, these little oil lamps, and that's what's going to make it so that they can see when the bride, when the groom comes and they can be able to go into the wedding banquet. And the wise ones, of course, have enough oil so they're able to go in. But, you know, many times when we think about these lamps, we think of something bright, like a flashlight, like, or like a light here at church, like that which makes a tremendous difference, doesn't it? But, you know what? In that time, it wasn't even as bright as a flashlight. These little lamps that they carried were very small, and their light was only one little flame. So, it was much more like the light of this candle, which certainly helps. You can see my face. But you can understand why each one kind of needed their own candle, their own little light um, that they could carry around. Because if there weren't any outside lights, it would get very dark. Think about how dark it gets uh, in these evenings now that we turned our clocks back and now that we're approaching winter. It gets very dark. And if you were outside with no lights on and you only had a candle, it'd be very hard to see. And unfortunately, if you weren't very wise and your candle went out, it would be very, very hard to see. And so, as we focus on this lesson today, I wanted you to remember how important it is to be prepared to keep your light burning and especially the light of hope that Christ gave you. Keep that light of hope burning and don't just keep it, but share it with all who you encounter. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.